welcome to our Tech Insights video. Today, we're tackling a question that many mobile app developers encounter. Our viewer is working on a mobile app with a video chat feature and has run into a roadblock. They found a great JavaScript library for WebRTC that works well in QWebView, but they're struggling to grant it permission to access the camera and microphone. They mention that while QWeb Engine View has a convenient signal and slot for this, it's not available for mobile. To make matters more complicated, manifest permissions aren't functioning as expected. So, is there a way to enable camera and microphone access in QML Web View? Let's explore this challenge together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. To enable camera and microphone access in your QML WebView for a video chat feature, we need to understand the limitations of QWebView compared to QWeb Engine View. Since QWebView lacks direct support for these permissions, we can use a workaround by implementing a custom QML component that interacts with the JavaScript library. In your QML file, you can use the following code snippet to create a button that triggers the permission request when clicked. Make sure to handle the success and error cases in your JavaScript code. This will ensure that your app can gracefully manage permission requests. Lastly, keep an eye on the Qt bug report for updates regarding native support for camera and microphone permissions in QML WebView. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. For Android version 22 and below, manifest permissions won't work. You need to request runtime permissions in Java. First, check if the permission is granted. If not, decide whether to show an explanation to the user. If an explanation is needed, show it asynchronously. If not, request the permission directly. For more details, check the official Android documentation and consider using NDK for similar behavior. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To resolve the QML WebView camera permission issue, we need to recompile the Qt code and update the necessary jars. First, download the Qt source code for Android using the maintenance tool. Next, Update the cute Android WebView controller.java file by adding a function to handle permission requests. This allows media access to JavaScript functions. Depending on your Android SDK version, you may need to comment or change deprecated functions. Make sure to adjust methods in cute Android WebView client as needed. import the project into Qt Creator. Some Java knowledge may be required to resolve any build issues.
After building, two jars will be generated. Replace the existing jars in the specified path. Finally, perform a clean build of your original project using WebView and the issue should be resolved. Note that paths may vary based on your setup. If Qt addresses this issue in a future release, you can simply replace the updated jars. And that's it. I hope this video has helped you get through to that resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. And until next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers. Cheers.